Hi, my name is Chad Free and I'm the CEO and founder at Passport Legacy. Today we will introduce you to the Sanketsa Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program. We will guide you through the process, steps and requirements of how you can obtain your second passport. We will also answer the most frequently asked questions about this program. The St. Kitts and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program has been active since 1984 and is therefore the longest citizenship by investment program in place. To be eligible to apply for the program, you need to be at least 18 years of age, have a health certificate and a clean criminal record. Additionally, you are required to make a non-refundable donation to the Sustainable Growth Fund or invest in real estate of at least 200,000 US dollars. To qualify for the Citizenship by Investment program, allow me to share with you the two options in highest demand. The first option is a minimum non-refundable donation of 150,000 US dollars to the Sustainable Growth Fund. The second option is to invest into real estate of at least 200,000 US dollars into a government approved project that needs to be kept for seven years in total. If the property investment is above 400,000 US dollars, the property only needs to be kept for five years. In addition to the minimum investment, there are legal fees, due diligence fees and government processing fees that apply for both options. To view the most recent requirements and costs for your family, please book a direct consultation with one of our client advisors through the Passport Legacy website. The process of obtaining the St. Kitts and Nevis citizenship consists of five steps that are carried out over a period of four to six months. Step one, we will do a due diligence check on you and your family to make sure you're eligible to apply for the program. If our compliance department gives us the green light to proceed, you are required to make a down payment of the professional fees in order to start working on your application. Step two, our professional client advisors will help you obtaining all the required documents that are needed by the government of St. Kitts and Nevis. Once all your documents are in place and you're ready to submit your application, you are required to make the second payment that includes the remaining professional fees as well as the due diligence fees in order to hand over your application to the St. Kitts government. At that time, St. Kitts and Nevis will be issuing an official submission letter addressed to you and from that day onwards, the 90 days due diligence period starts. Step 4. The big moment has come as your application is approved now. In order to have the citizenship certificate as well as your St. Kitts and Nevis passport issued, you are required to make the final donation or real estate investment. Step 5. Upon receipt of the final investment, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis will be issuing your citizenship certificate as well as the passport. From that day onwards, you are eligible to travel to 160 countries worldwide, including the Schengen area, the UK, Singapore, Hong Kong and many more. As you are a Commonwealth citizen now, you are entitled certain privileges to other Commonwealth states as well as to the United Kingdom. St. Kitts and Nevis imposes a minimal taxation with an exception of capital gains, inheritance and wealth tax. Additionally, the country allows dual citizenship, which means that you will not be required to give up your current citizenship and can hold two or more passports. Yes, you can. Qualified family members such as your spouse, children, up till the age of 30 that are currently enrolled in a university, as well as parents above the age of 55 can be included in your application. No, you are not required to physically visit the country, although we can highly recommend a visit to St. Kitts and Nevis. You're also not required to pass any language test and you do not need to have specific working experience. As our compliance department completes very strict due diligence checks on you before we even start the process, chances of facing a rejection are very small. In fact, we have an over 99.5% approval rate. St. Kitts and Nevis only accepts applications that are submitted through a government authorized agent 
such as Passport Legacy. If you wish to learn how to obtain your Sankitsa Nivi citizenship or apply for any of our other programs, book a private consultation with one of our highly experienced client advisors and we will be happy to assist you.